The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, has called for an end to what he called the divisions of recent years in his New Year sermon. He said the UK is wonderfully more diverse than it used to be, and yet, he said, people are disagreeing on many things and are struggling to disagree well. Our religion editor, Martin Bashir, reports. May I make you a cup of coffee? For his New Year's message, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, didn't venture far. This is the kitchen at his London residence in Lambeth Palace. We, were, we had the food there like we... A home that he shares each year with around 20 young people who commit themselves to 10 months of prayer, study and community service. They have an extraordinary range of backgrounds, cultures and opinions. They live together, cook together, volunteer with charities together and because they're human, they clash together. Named after a Benedictine monk who became Archbishop of Canterbury at the end of the 11th century, the community of St Anselm is an attempt to challenge what Justin Welby says is increasing division and rancour in British society. We disagree on many things and we are struggling with how to disagree well. Turn on the television, read the news and you see a lot that could tempt you to despair. The shall be full of sheep. Quoting the Gospel of John, the Archbishop said that Jesus chose community over conflict, hope over despair, and he says we should do the same in 2019. Hope lies in our capacity to approach this new year in a spirit of openness towards each other. That will involve choosing to see ourselves as neighbours, as fellow citizens, as communities, each with something to contribute. And he acknowledged how challenging this will be in the current political climate. With the struggles and divisions of recent years, that will not be easy. But that difficult work is part of the joy and blessing of being a community, whether it's the 20 people here or millions of us. I wish all of us a happy and more importantly, hope-filled New Year. Martin Bashir, BBC News, at Lambeth Palace.